Hey what is going on you guys, it's Oliver from OTB Tech 4K and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to edit videos on Final Cut Pro 10 which is a software that I use to edit all my videos it is made by Apple and costs 299 US dollars it's a professional editing software so yeah guys, if you can't afford to use Final Cut Pro you can also use iMovie which is a free editing software that's made by Apple so yeah guys, let's get right into the video. So right now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm gonna click on here on my dock right here. And it's gonna be opening up right here. This is pretty much I've had this software for a pretty long time. So as you can see, part of my uh, library clips. But you also be blank, okay? So right now, what I'm gonna do is gonna make a new event where I can store all my clips. So I'm gonna click on new and then I'm gonna click on event right here. Then I'm gonna click on final cut pro tutorial this is an example event you can also do like iphone review or something like that you can do whatever you want whatever the the video is going to be about you name that event so it's going to be in my untitled library right here so pretty much you can make different libraries that like you can make a youtube library a facebook library so pretty much those that's like a library for your youtube videos where it's all going to be stored your facebook videos and things like that so it's pretty much to keep all your clips in one place so you're going to click on ok right here and now the event is going to be opened up as you can see the first thing you're going to see is this import media right here if you click on it your camera's sd card will pretty much pop up right here and you can import all the media this is all the footage i've taken on my camera but i'm not going to be doing that right now guys so as you can see i'm going to close it. it's going to take a while because my computer isn't very fast so yeah guys so as you can see right now I'm going to be creating a brand new project where I'm going to pretty much make my video inside right here. So I'm going to click on file right here. I'm going to go on new and then I'm going to go to project right here. And as you can see you can name the project name. So this is the YouTube Final Cut Tutorial right here. So it's going to be in the event Final Cut Final Cut tutorial right here and this is where I can select the resolution of the video so right now I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 if you have a faster computer with a better graphics card you can use a 4k resolution which is much better you can use a 5k resolution also so right now I'm going to be doing 1080p HD it's the best if you don't have a very fast computer as you can see my computer it has 12 gigabytes of RAM and it's an Intel Core i3 3.06 gigabyte processor which is not very fast so I recommend 1080p footage so you don't lag out your computer also I'm gonna be using 60 frames per second this is the best frames per second rate for a YouTube video if you guys are making like short films or something I recommend 24 frames per second or 23.98 which is much better but 60 frames per second is really smooth and really good for YouTube videos or web videos anything shared on the web is good at 60 frames per second so you're gonna click on ok right now and as you can see a new project right here as you can see, your timeline is gonna come up right here so what you're going to do is you're going to import some footage. I would not like to use the method right there because I can't really preview the clips one by one. I would like to just like put my clips on my desktop right here and then I'll just drag it straight into here and just import like that. So as you can see right now, if I want to bring my clip into the timeline, I'm just going to click right here. As you can see, I can skim around to my clip to find which part I want to pretty much put in my timeline so as you can see if I want from here to about here to be in my timeline so I click here then I pretty much select this part here and I drag it onto my timeline so that's pretty easy right here so right now if I want to make these two clips separate cl clips right now I can look right here at the pretty much the tools the video tools section right here and I can see all the different types of tools Final Cut Pro has to offer right here and this is the select tool, the trim tool, the position tool, the range selection tool, the blade tool, the zoom tool, and the hand tool. So as you can see, when I hover over them, it gives the definition of the tool right here. But for basic video editing, the only tools I have ever used is pretty much a select tool. I've used these other tools right here. But this is what you will pretty much use in all your videos is the select tool, the blade tool and pretty much the range selection tool the range selection not that much but pretty much the select and blade tool are the most important tools to use guys as you can see there's like um shortcuts you can use on the keyboard if you pretty much memorize these shortcuts you can become really fast at editing for example the b tool for the blade i can just cut up this clip right here then go on the a tool right here i select it and drop it over here pretty much like 
you can become really fast because if you do not memorize these the keyboard shortcuts you're gonna have to go here and you're gonna have to click here then you're gonna have to go blade tool right here then you're gonna cut this and then you're gonna go back here and you can click select tool pretty much i can just click a for select tool b for blade tool a select tool b for blade tool so pretty much it become like you become much faster at editing and you become much more professional at editing if you be memorize these keyboard shortcuts right here so yeah guys right now i'm also going to teach you like what you can do on your timeline right here so pretty much if i want to add music to my video right here i have some music um let me go click on uh, pretty much get all my um audio and like music and what all those background music from ncs no copyright sounds a youtube channel i'll link it down in the description below so as you can see this is some music right here so i can also drag music at the bottom of my clip right here so let's say if i talk Hey, what is going on you guys? It's Oliver from OTB Tech 4K and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to edit video. So as you can see right now, the music is overshadowing the voice. As you can see, you can hear the music more than my voice. So this is what you can do. As you can see, there's around the audio part of your video, that's like you can see how many decibels right here. You're not going to mess with your video decibels, you're just going to make your music softer. So right now, I'm just going to go to the music decibels. I'm going to drag it around. I use 23 a lot, 23 decibels. So right now, if I talk right here, Pro 10, which is a software that I use to edit all my videos. It is made by Apple and costs 299 US dollars. So as you can see, the, you can hear the music faintly in the background. But if you want it a bit louder, you can then make it about 17. And today, I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to edit videos. So as you can see, this sounds nice in your video right here. So this is how I pretty much monitor the music and the... Uh, video together this is how I'll pretty much merge them together you'll be using this a lot in your videos and it's pretty much like a must learn for any video editor so right now i'm going to be going over the transform crop and distort features of final cut pro so pretty much the transform feature allows you to pretty much mess with the size the size of the video you can make it like oh wow i clicked on the wrong option right there you can pretty much like make your video more zoomed in you can turn it upside down right here if you like push your transform this way you can turn it upside down you can make it larger you can scale it pretty much i won't really mess with this part unless you like have like a video which is like really small compared to the preview window then you can enlarge it but right now i'm recording at 1080p and the preview window is at 1080p so pretty much the size is perfect right here so next is the crop feature right here you can just click on crop it's pretty much self-explanatory you can crop the video so as you can see let me just go back to the transform feature for a second and let me just reduce the size because i think i transformed it a bit too much so okay right now this is the crop part of the video right here so i'm going to click here and click crop and as you can see i want to get rid of this part of the video right here i can just drag this crop feature here and then pretty much that's it right here so this is good if you want to make your video like very centered so as you can see just now i was facing a bit to the right now i can put my face right in the center and then i can pretty much uh enlarge the video and as you can see i look that i, I look like i'm in the center of the video even though it was it's all about here. from oh but it does give you like a weird angle so i pretty much prefer something like this but if you want if you like doing something like that you can do something like that so yeah guys this is your preview window also if you guys didn't know so you can give press you guys play from here or you can press the space button it's to play your video also you can go to like the end of each clip using this uh fast forward uh menus right here you can also see your preview window in full screen if you click it is here. made by apple and costs 200 as you can see this is not the actual resolution this is just before it renders because your video will be much higher quality than this resolution right here. This is just to see your video in full screen. So yeah, guys. Right now, I'm also going to be going over to this video feature side panel right here. And you can see um, these are the video effects right here. Like these are effects right here. These are not the default effects that come with Final Cut Pro 10. This uh, add noise and stuff like that. These come with Final Cut Pro 10. But... Um, well, some of the uh, what effects right here I, I use through plugins. So uh, the plugin is called FX Factory right here, FX Factory Pro. So yeah, guys, I'm only going to be going over to the effects in Final Cut Pro 10. If you guys want me to teach you guys how to install plugins and things like that, I'll do it in another video. So as you can see, right now this is the video options. You can see how much cropped your video is if you actually uh, cropped it. Like I cropped my video so I can like. 
do something like this i can crop it to like the left the more or whatever so i'm just gonna leave it because i do not want to do anything this is the distort it also it comes with this distort here you can distort it through this menu right here but i prefer doing it like that you can this is a stabilization feature i say you have some shaky footage and you want to stabilize it you can go through the stabilization feature this is a pretty advanced um pretty advanced thing in video editing so you wouldn't really need it right now this is the rolling shutter feature i never use this and i don't know what it does so this composition of your video you can make it more opaque so as you can see you can reduce the opacity and things like that i wouldn't really mess with this because you're just making simple youtube videos right now i will cover this in more advanced tutorials so yeah guys so this is another panel right here where you got your effects and you got the photos you got the music it's pretty much where you can import music and photos from like different applications like the aperture application the photos application iPhoto and things like that you can also import your video music from iTunes but I don't really use this because like pretty much all my music in iTunes is like copyrighted music so I do not want to put this in my YouTube videos because then I'll get a copyright strike and my channel will go down so these are the transition features this is very important in video editing right here these are the transitions like for example this is how your clip will enter the screen so if like I have a band transition right here like pretty much this will be totally black and my clip will start like appearing at the blue areas right there at the blue areas I wouldn't really use more than two transitions in a video just because it makes your video look really tacky and very unprofessional for example if I drag this transition and drop it here pretty much my video will enter hey. out like this if I pretty much I can take out this transition and put it here also but I used to edit all as you can see it will like overlap over the last video but if I do it over the starting clip it will just be black like that so you can this is the text feature the next one and this pretty much add text over your videos I do this in almost every single video I use the basic 3d text or the custom 3d usually it's the custom one so custom 3d right here I'm just gonna drag it over my footage right here so pretty much this way I write what is going on you guys OTB it's all okay whenever I say OTB tech 4k in my video so I can just double click on it right here I can delete this custom 3d text and I can just write whatever I want OTB tech 4k right here and also if I want to highlight it and I want to make it bigger right here I can use this size size I can also go more than 288 actually I can put like about 350 that would be nice yes yeah, 350 so I can change the font here I usually use this font called Bebas because it's like uh, it looks nice in my videos so right now you can choose the textile normal for um, the textile you can see these 3d styles these 2d styles I don't really use them very much something like that so yeah guys those are the text th those are the text features and the text styles and your text will go over the the video clips right here if you put it under the video right here as you can see you won't be able to see your text because whatever that goes over like whatever's on top will be seen first and whatever's at the bottom will not be seen so if you want a text on a video you're gonna put it over right here so next up guys I'm gonna be showing you guys this is the generators this is pretty much if you uh, are using like a green screen and want something like this in the background that'll be nice so I'll be covering how to use a green screen uh, in a future videos because um, it's a pretty advanced feature and this is just the beginners tutorial on how to edit on Final Cut Pro 10 so next up we have right here is the teams feature so this pretty much um, you can put whatever you want like most of these teams that I got here is from uh, final is from the FX factory pro so as you can see these are like video transitions titles that come up all blur blur teams you can like boxes video generator slide in overlay like these are not really I wouldn't really use them for YouTube videos so yeah guys I'm gonna be going over this left hand side menu right here so as you can see I can go through all the projects and like I can like if I go here this is an untitled project and if I go here is my YouTube Final Cut tutorial also this is the keywords tool you wouldn't really use that also this is um import the import button so really use this right here so as you can see this is a pretty good video right here Hey what is going on you guys it's Oliver from OTB Tech 4K and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial so as you can see this video has been edited slightly and let's say um, like when I'm playing this back 
it's like pretty laggy and things like that this is when you need to pay attention to this menu right here this pretty much when you hover over the clips right here and it shows you where you're at like pretty much if i hover here this is at the 15 second of the video this is important so yeah guys you're gonna click on this 100 percent thing and now you can see transcoding and analysis importing media uh, media management, rendering, sharing, backup, these pretty much are all the background tasks that your video is undergoing right here. Right now, all my background tasks has been completed. This is transcoding analysis, pretty much when you're applying some stabilization or something like that to the video. This will show whether it's completed or not. It's importing video. This is pretty self-explanatory when you're importing video clips here. But it's fully imported, it'll go 100%. Right now, it's at idle, which means it's all completed. So right now, I've got media management right here. Then I've got rendering. This is the most important background task that you guys have to understand right here. This is Rendering is pretty much when it's like m putting all your clips together and making them like all smooth and like pretty much joining everything together like making like let's say you put this uh, text here then you put the transition all this is like combining everything together so that the video plays nice and smoothly so you're pretty much going to want to leave your video to render all the time to 100% before previewing your clip if not it'll be like really choppy and you might think there's something wrong with the clip and you've got sharing here pretty much if you're sharing your video exporting your video you're sharing it to youtube facebook uh, or like vimeo or something like that this is like how much it's completed right here and this is the backup feature when you're backing up your clips right here so right now guys i'm also going to teach you how to export your clips so pretty much this is what i usually do i go to file right here then i click on export right here i click on share sorry not export and pretty much this is what i use i use master file right here i can also upload it straight to youtube which i do not want to do because Uploading it through the upload menu is much better because I can straight away add a thumbnail to my video. Let's say if I upload to YouTube using the uh, what using I just log into my cloud and I upload it straight from here. It first off it takes a really long time. I do not know why. And second of all, like um like I can't add a thumbnail straight. So I have to make it private straight away. I have to like edit the description of the video and whatever. So I up I pretty much go to master file right here. And as you can see the menu comes up right here with the full video. So as you can see, it's 1.14 gigabytes. So I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to click on share right here. It pretty much will go straight to my desktop. That's what I usually do. So pretty much this is the video. It's like sharing right now. So you're just going to leave your computer. GPU and things like that. I'm just going to cancel this export because it's not a completed video. This is just a tutorial on basically how to use uh, Final Cut Pro 10 for beginners. Guys, how to just import, export clips and how to like uh, pretty much basically like cut and add music to your video and pretty much a tutorial and all the themes and generators that Final Cut Pro has. So yeah guys, it's been Oliver from OTB Tech 4K. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you guys want more advanced tutorials, for example, how to do chroma keying and stuff like that, I can give you guys some tutorials. Just comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it, also please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and peace out guys. Hey, what is